All right, so today we are going to be showcasing the newly Extreme Z Awakened Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta to find out exactly how good this guy is now, but also how he compares to the Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, who I still use all the time. And even though that guy is not as impressive as he used to be, he's still quite powerful in my opinion. So the main thing that I want to take away from this video is whether it makes more sense to run the EZA Tech Gogeta or the Int uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And obviously you can run them both on the same team, but if you had to choose between one or the other, which one is superior, I guess. So for that purpose, we have brought both of the Super Saiyan 4 Gogetas on this team to do a side-by-side -side comparison. And uh, yeah, here is the team. We got the double LR Super Saiyan 4 leads. We have the Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, AGL LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, the uh, Fizz GT Goku, as well as the uh, Tech GoBros for some support. And the event is the Legendary Vegeta event. So on this first rotation, we do have the Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta starting with 147,900 and 52 defense, which is not bad, but it's also not great. But he does greatly raise attack and defense for one turn on super attack. And he also gets up to 50% more uh, attack and defense for five turns after launching two supers. So uh, we should see a much higher defense stat in a bit. But uh, yeah, let's start here with a couple of orbs for the tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and uh, see what kind of damage he can put up on turn one with no supports. Okay, so we are taking a super and that hurt a little bit. That hurt a little bit. Like I said, um, 147k defense under 200% leads. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna finish what I was saying. Under 200% leads, not that great, okay? So, you know, as a slot one unit, at least before he's had a chance to build up a little bit, he's, you know, gonna be a little bit squishy. But, um, as you guys saw, the additional super attacks, or the super attacks that give him additional attack and defense, definitely make a pretty significant difference, because we went from 4.4 to 5.9, I think, on the second super, which is absolutely insane okay so now we're on the int super saiyan 4 gogeta and uh keep in mind he has support here he has 40 percent support from the uh gobros so it's not really a super fair comparison but it looks like without the support they would actually have very similar defense because 217k if you do the math he should be around like 150k or so without the 40% support, right? So um, you guys can, you know, check me on that. I could be wrong, but it's around there. So similar defense on turn one. And let's see how much damage we can get here. And once again, this is with support. So it's not really a fair comparison. So we got to wait until the uh, tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta also gets the support on his rotation to make it an even comparison. Okay, so first super, just over five mil. Second super, 5.5. So both Gogetas are actually making a really good case for themselves, but uh, as you guys saw, the tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta definitely um, had the much bigger increase on the second super. So I'm not really sure. Right now it's too early, I think. It's, it's definitely too early to make any kind of conclusive statement. Um, they're both looking good though. They're both looking good. Okay, so Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta now. Up to 221,000 defense. That is a significant increase from 147k last turn. And this is without support. So with support, he would be getting close to 300,000 defense now. So he's looking really good. I'm gonna give him one orb here. And uh, let's give a couple to these guys. I mean, we don't really need to give them that many orbs, but it's just habit, I guess. Okay, so tanking really well, as you would expect. And here's a counter. 
We got the counter this time. High chance to counter. And there's no crit, so still some pretty decent damage, actually. 6.6 .6 mil, guys. 6.6 .6 mil. Okay. This is interesting. This is interesting. So... I mean, I know for a fact that Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta cannot reach those numbers. Um, so... I don't know. I I'm starting to get closer to, I guess, a... A, a, a determination, if you will. <laughs> a decision on who is the superior Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, but I'ma still give it a little bit of time. I'ma still give it a little bit of time. I still think it's way too early to decide which one I will use for the long run. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we took so much damage there. I, why, why, why did he not counter? <laughs> why didn't you counter? Okay, so um, both Super Saiyan 4 Gogetas have taken supers now. And both of them have taken a lot of damage. So... You know, it, it's not really to either one's benefit that uh, they didn't really tank those too well. But, I mean, to be fair, like, this is later on in the event, so I guess you gotta give, you know, a little bit of a... Or you gotta cut some slack for the Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta in that sense. Okay, so now we're on the Int God Goku. Or sorry, uh, Int God Vegeta, my bad, Int God Vegeta. And we're up to 257,000 defense. Now, I am very concerned about taking a super here, because I think that might actually kill us. But we do have a good amount of defense, and we also have a high or a great chance, a great chance to counter, compared to a high chance to counter for the Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So... 70% versus 50% edge to the tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta for sure there. And uh, 257,000 defense is definitely higher than Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta can get. So that's looking pretty good. Let's see. Let's see what happens. I'm not going to give any support items um, to this rotation. I'm just going to see. I'm just going to see what happens. 7.7. 7.7 .7. Okay, all right now unfortunately we didn't get the attacks effective against stall Fortunately, we do get the counter here. Ow. <laughs> I just hit my arm on the on the table. It's fine We did get the counter and that did a lot of damage That did a good amount of damage. I will take that. I Will definitely take that and of course, the Super Saiyan 4s are going to go off a little bit here because that's what they do. Um, they might actually finish off Vegeta before we get a chance to move on here. Oh, never mind. We're good. Okay. So, um, yeah, Tech Super Saiyan 4 has been extremely, extremely impressive. Uh... Yeah, I, I think I know which one I'm going to be using for the long haul, guys. I think Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta might be getting replaced very soon. <laughs> now, one thing that this guy has over the other guy, of course, is this active skill, right? So we can pop the active skill here, and I believe we ate a super attack before, right? So yeah, that's why we have lower defense now. His defense should be higher than what you see here. But, um... Not a huge deal. I don't think he's going to super us again, so uh, I'm going to just finish him off here with the Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta with his active skill. So, of course, the, yeah, the Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta does not have an active skill. But at the same time, he can put up some really big numbers that the Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta just cannot reach without his active skill. Like, if we had the support here, we'd be over, like, 8 mil, for sure. But... I mean, the tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta doesn't have to rely on a one-turn active skill to put up some massive, massive numbers, so... Um... Yeah, guys, I think... 
I think the tech Super Saiyan 4 Gordita might be better. <laughs> I think he might be better. Now, uh, this turn's gonna be interesting because we are uh, losing the, you know, stacks of attack and defense. It'd be great if we got an additional super here, but yeah, we're back to 4.4 now. Uh, we didn't get the additional super, unfortunately. But as you can see, even with the one super, we're still tanking pretty decently. Because of the um, greatly raising attack and defense for one turn, so that was actually a great showcase of his defense right there. And obviously, the int one would have done much worse, but that was because... Or that would have been because of the type disadvantage. So... Yeah. At the end of the day, I think it's pretty clear which one's better. But maybe there's some kind of angle to this comparison that I'm missing. Maybe something I haven't thought of uh, that you guys can let me know in the comments. But um, by all means, from what I can see, it's, it's Tech Super Saiyan 4 all the way, guys. I think it's Tech Super Saiyan 4 all the way. Uh, I don't think it's even... You know what? No, I was going to say it's not close, but that, that's not fair. I think it's like somewhat close. Um, and there's definitely areas that the Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta excel in over the tech one. Like, for example, the active skill. Like, for example, the, um, you know, higher chance for attacks to be effective, at least for the, uh, first, wait, is it first eight turns? Yeah, for the first eight turns, it's... Oh, wait a second. Did I forget how this guy works? Yeah, okay, so he gets guaranteed attacks effective against all types for eight turns, and then it becomes a high chance, right? Whereas the uh, tech one is just 50%. It's high chance the entire time. So the tech one's not going to get attacks effective against all types as regularly, but um, his damage is going to be, I, I think, superior for the most part, and... His defense as well is going to be superior for the most part. Um, so, yeah. I mean, they're both still good. They're still both really good. But I would have to give the edge to Tech Super Saiyan for Gogeta in this video. In this direct comparison. I mean, just from what I can see. Yeah, that that's that's how I feel right now, guys. That's how I feel. And maybe my feelings will change with more testing on more events. But specifically on this event, on the Legendary Vegeta event, uh, I think it's pretty obvious who, who's winning. Who's winning this, um, this showdown, if you will. So we're going to finish this up. We got one more stage to go. Uh, the Tech Super Saiyan 4 is really going to shine here as well because, of course, we're facing, you know, the uh, AGL SSB Vegeta. And let's see here. Um, to be safe, I will pop a Princess Snake just because I'm a little bit concerned about the GT Goku. Although I probably shouldn't have to be. Um, he's probably going to be fine, but just to be safe. Just to be safe. And... Oh, we got a Dokkan attack too. That's perfect. That's perfect. Okay, Dokkan attack time. Let me make sure I get this down perfectly. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Of course I had to miss one. Of course I had to miss one. So we are at 5.5 mil on this super. 5.5. An additional super would be fantastic. Can we get it? Come on. Okay, no additional super. And we can't actually counter, I just realized. So we can't see you know, any extra damage from that, but not bad, not bad, I'll take that, 5.5, um, did about, like, just over, I think, a third of his HP, and then we tanked the normal hits really, really well, but, of course, we had the Princess Snake, so, I mean, even without the Princess Snake, I'm pretty sure it would have been double digits either way, honestly, I think, I think it would have been double digits either way, so, yeah, his defense has actually impressed me a lot more than I thought it would. 
Um, I really thought that he would struggle a little bit more defensively, but you know, as long as you are able to get like one super off, um, he's great on defense. Uh, I still wouldn't really put him in the first slot too often. I don't think, uh, you know, it's a great idea to, you know, put him in slot one with a lot of attacks, but um, yeah, in slot two or slot three, he is perfectly fine. He is perfectly fine, so yeah, that's gonna do it for the showcase, guys. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about uh, Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's Extreme Z Awakening. And also how you feel about this direct comparison. Okay, do you think that my assessments or my comments were fair? Do you think that maybe I was being unfair to one or the other? And um, who do you guys think is better? Because I think I've made my opinion very clear. I think the Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is pretty obviously the superior Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I think he's the superior Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And keep in mind, my int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta has max links, whereas the tech one is not maxed out. So he could actually be even a little bit more impressive than what you saw in this video. Um, skill orb wise, I think it's pretty, you know, uh, I think it's pretty even for the skill orbs. Like they both have some pretty good skill orbs. Um, so that's not really a difference there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be running the tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta a lot more than the Int one, I think. Unless, you know, when it comes down to like stages where the enemy is a certain type, or you know you're gonna be facing more enemies of a certain type. Like, uh, you know, with the Super Saiyan, the Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, I would take him on a tech stage, and then the tech one. I would obviously take him on an AGL stage, so if there's like type advantages and stuff like that, then that's a different story, but all things equal, you know, um, when there's like a bunch of different types of enemies, I would definitely go for the tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, honestly, and I didn't really think I was going to feel that way coming into the showcase. I wasn't really sure how I was going to, like which direction, which way I was going to lean, but I am leaning heavily on the side of tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta now, whereas I kind of thought maybe this guy would still hold his place as the superior Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta in the game, but I think he's been overtaken by tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So there you have it guys, that is going to be today's showcase, that is your comparison video. Uh, once again, let me know your opinions in the comments, and uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.